Yum yum. No, Lampe turned into a dog. That's actually my favorite thing about Lampe is that he turns into a dog sometimes. Mama wants to see about going in, like, where she thinks the entrance might have been. Everything is so trash, it's probably impossible to figure out where the main entrance would have been. Um, so you probably kind of be wandering in through some random wall. That's fine, too. And once you get in there, you realize that it is much easier to move. Where the ruins are is uh, as the the brush and trees have not had a chance to grow as strongly um, inside the ruins. There's barely any sign of a roof at, at any point in this place. All right, let's start exploring. And so at this point, Lee could make an anthropology check. Uh, there's some broken objects and, and more brickwork and design on visible on the inside. Ugh, I want to know exploders. I hate that. <laughs> so that's a 10. Um, a 10 does let you know that it looks like the design of this place is actually somewhat interesting because it looks like it was, despite using some pretty rigorous uh, work, there's no creative design added to it. It mm -hmm. is purely function. Ooh, yeah. Uh, which unfortunately means it's very hard to identify what culture it came from. Exactly, yeah, because they don't, they don't have any identifiers. Exactly. It's just utilitary. I mean... I could disagree with that, but we'll just go with it. Well, I mean, sometimes that's true, but yeah, like generally, a, yeah, with no identifiers, tool marks or something like that might be. But uh, I already have the bricks in my bag for later, so. I think. Well, I mean, we we just got into the ruins. As we explore deeper, we might find something else. Mm -hmm. Although this may oh. have certain connotations of its own. We traverse deeper. Yeah, traverse away. Oh, it smells great. As we it's traverse, hard to... oh, sorry. everything is so torn up. It's even kind of hard to tell if you are walking in an intended hallway path or if you're walking in where just a wall had shattered into another room. Is there a semblance of rooms or not? Nah? It... You can kind of see from the walls, like, oh, hey, look, there's a corner. There's a corner. We're probably standing in a room right now. It's about what you get. Mm -hmm. um, quite a bit of stone on the floor where the both the floor was and the ceiling had collapsed, which is stopping a lot of the foliage from really taking over. As we're traversing, can I do a scavenging to see if there's something that's, like, not as noticeable? Sure. Could uh be interesting okay let me let me roll it again and i forgot to add the plus one last time so i'll do that this time how big are the available open spaces or would the available open spaces at the time that this was inhabited have been like how big are the hallways and rooms and such oh that's another six yeah with the six you don't find anything of value and then uh, for the size of the rooms they vary in size, but kind of when you can distinctly find a hallway or a room, they do seem to be uh, of pretty moderate size. Um, so you're, you're thinking probably some medium or smaller creature lived here. Nothing mm. extravagant. Because um, you're not seeing any extravagantly huge rooms. Okay. And where you do see ceiling, it's about at highest, like 10 feet in the air. Very good. Okay, 
Um. Did did we lose Murasaki? No, I'm still here. Okay. Oh, okay. You've just been so quiet. I just think I'm taking up the rear. I'm just trying to think how to approach this. Well, what you do approach is, um, as you're kind of toward the back of this area, you guys are kind of at the point where you're realizing that this is just rock there's and rubble. There's, like, nothing of value here. And you're kind of starting to feel almost like you waste the trip. But then up against the cliff face, you realize that there is a cavern into the cliff face. Mm. Uh, before we go to that cavern... Oh, wait, would knowledge history really help here? And if your anthropology did nothing, then... Well, well you can always try. Yeah, I might as well try. What, what is it for uh, knowledge stuff? I forgot. Cunning and power. And power, all right. So, what do I have for that? Yeah, Unless you can make a very good argument otherwise. Yeah. Oh, same. that's better. That's a 11. Nice. Um, historically, you know, the t towns, uh, the towns of the north actually of here. 12. Yeah. Um, the town to the north of here is Dao Jin. That's, that would be the oldest human race here. Um, to the south is the Norse, but all their stuff is much newer, so it's probably Dao Jin make is your best guess unless there was some other it was that precursor culture that you guys had discovered um, previously the precursor culture was the demons we think no I mean when we went to that town I looked at the ruins I rolled knowledge history and it was like oh yeah these are demon ruins demons existed before us they were common. Anyway, so, um, all right. Uh, because I got good on that roll, can I uh, try to improve that skill? Yeah, you can improve whether you get good on the roll or not. Oh, I was not aware of that. And do I add my skill bonus to that to improving it? You do not. Okay. On 12. Yes! I did it! Yay! You were now I have a skill that's at, well, that's at 2. It's my knowledge history. Hey, okay. Um, so... I suggest we uh, go to the cave and try to find a way up. Well, try to find a way up there first, of course. I mean, the cave is just right there. Oh, well, then let's just go to the cave that's right there, unless uh, anyone has any objections. No. Nah. Um, I think that we should have the troll go in first, and then the whatever the hell Sharia is go in last. Yeah, I'm the healer. <laughs> Sounds good to Mama. She uh, she asks if we are trying to be quiet. I didn't think so. For now, I'd say yes, because creatures live in caves, so I would... Mm. Fair point. In that case, Mama tries to, like, shuffle in, and it's grating of, like, stone across the ground as she, like, shuffles her feet. And that's better than clunking, so, I mean... I am... <laughs> And Mama's actually pretty comfy in this. As you guys kind of get inside this ca uh, this cave, you realize it's actually less of a cave and more of a fissure in the uh, in the cliffside because you're getting like a lot of light coming in. You can see the sky at points. At other points, it does close down and get pretty dark. But it looks like um, two parts of the cliff seem to have, like shattered and broke apart a little bit at the base. And it only goes for about like. Maybe a hundred feet before it opens up into a, a almost like a oasis in the cliffside, where all around you you see those high cliffs 
and then the lush trees and some uh, some water coming down, a little waterfall down one of those cliff faces. And in front of you, a much more well-kept building. Hmm. Now we're and in now you guys, uh... yeah, now you're looking at the map here. Ah, uh... oh. uh, no. Um... Is what I'm getting at, because we had to go through a cave to get there? Yeah. Not you're not underground. You are there's open sky above you again. You, you kind of pass there. between a uh, a fissure in the cliffs. And in front of you, it seems to be a little path that goes up the cliff side a little bit and opens up into an actual bit of doors. Um, although you also see to your right, there seems to be another path leading off. If you guys have some character icons on here or want to grab some, you can drag some characters. Oh, choices. I'm so bad at these. <laughs> I, I don't know what character icons you're talking about, man. Yeah, I don't have anything like that. I don't have anything like that either. Oh, okay. Only the GM has those. Oh. I thought you guys could add your own icons in. No, you gotta sign them. I was able to do that in uh, Lampe Edition. Well, you have to make character sheets for each of us. Yeah. And... Oh, oh so if we had character sheets, we could do it. Exactly. Yeah. Ah. We do. So if you make character sheets for each of us, we can upload a picture. I'm working on one right now, like some sort of weirdo. But I don't know how much of it you can see because I didn't get it on the screen, but. The first episode of Nostria that's up, that's pretty much what we do for most of it, is is try to figure out how the hell we're going to have the characters represented. Actually, I think that's the, the second episode. The first one is generating the numbers and Rad trying to be as stupid as is humanly possible. <laughs> that's but, always a challenge. In his, in his have, defense, have... he's building a half-work, so like... I have some old icons. I'll, I'll have you guys get some character icons a little bit later and I'll bring them in here. Um, but I do have some icons on here. Here's a great one for. Yeah, I remember that. Mark right there. He needs um, a question mark on the mask, and that's basically him. This guy's got a little little animal with him, so I say that should be uh, Lee right here. But you guys can kind of choose who you want who to be. Oh, we can't grab our icons. Gosh darn it. I'm pretty sure I got to sign them to you. Okay. Somehow. There's a, I posted mamas on the Discord. That's what I want mamas to look like. There should be, um, when you open up their menus, there should be a spot that says can be controlled by, and that should lead to a drop down menu, and you can select the user. <laughs> what is that from? Never ending story. Oh, I've never seen the, that. In the icon or on the player? When you double click, click the I icon. That picture. Double click the icon and that should open a menu. Ah. Yep. I love the uh, little. Uh, oh, my non is. I forgot what the animal racing picture. cloud is called. Unfortunately, with the cards. none of your characters are on here yet. It's cute. like that one. It's not going to be Mark, but I like it. Here we go. All right. Why do all of our characters just not have eyes? It's a gaping void. On Tuesdays, it my sort of makes sense no for bones. the hooded person, but like. <laughs> All right, well, I'll move you guys around for now, and I'll play this a little bit later. I need to make you guys uh, individual character sheets or anything like that, too. So, you are here. What do you want to do? Mama thinks we should check out that one to the right before going into the building. 
All right. Lead the way. Mark you, doesn't really care, so he doesn't object. Yeah. All you, right. You take the front. Which icon I'll... do you want to be you, Mama? Uh, I don't really care. Maybe <laughs> the green one. I will stick close to the healer. All right. Toward the back. Green with Mama. Me this pinkish thing. All right. Healers in the back. That leaves Lee to be this one, and then Mark. That will be your running order. But for now, since Mom is leading, I'm just going to move, move Mama around. Everyone else is behind her in that appropriate order. Okay. Mama see here. So, yes, uh, it opens up into a room. You're now fully underground as you actually kind of went a little bit downhill in this path. And it opens up into what seemed to be actually, in some parts, a natural cavern turned into a crypt of some kind um complete with your uh your stone coffins but then from there and on certain points in the wall it's actually been chiseled down and smoothed as if it was con ha construction was performed on it later including a few a hallway to the north i'll try to compare the two and see if i can figure out how far apart they are like um, how long it, it, yeah. how long one existed before the other one came around? Roll for it. Is it seven? Blech. Yeah. Not great. Um, they were a distance apart. Hmm. They did not happen on the same day. You're sure of that? <laughs> I wonder how long this was here before they started building this. I'll say being incredibly boring about it. Uh, Mark asks uh, if Mama could open up one of the one of the graves. Is this the question. Mama right? can definitely do it. <laughs> if Mama would be willing to doesn't care trolls don't have any sense of uh of that that's not how it works for trolls so she'll go no. over and we'll shove one of them well she'll try to pull one open to see if it opens easily it does hmm. and as it as it you kind of push it off and it, it drops to the side you actually all surprised you look in there's not a body in there as you expected there's actually seems to be supplies supplies <laughs> writing utensils, um, paper, things like that. Oh, this is what it's going to look like when they bury me. But you just turn into writing supplies? <laughs> Maybe the mouse girl, because you are what you eat, and she's eating the scrolls. I don't know. <laughs> she's eating scrolls. How's they going to start rumors about her and make her feel bad? No. It's like, you're the one that eats the scrolls. She's like, what? <laughs> Players say a lot of stupid things their characters don't. Uh, maybe we could try opening the others. Uh, this place looks like it could possibly be, be occupied, though, so I'd recommend not... Well, I mean, personally, I wouldn't mind looting it, but I know you guys have your morals and stuff, so... What morals? It's just a box of paper. Is there anything written on it? <laughs> These other might ones be might have something more valuable. What do you mean, more valuable? Depending on what's written on these things, this is what I came for. I could only have dreamt that there was going to be shit written down. <laughs> you are actually going to be super disappointed because as you look at these supplies, these are unused utensils. What the fuck? Well, I mean... The, there, there are ink wells that are completely full. Well, begins opening blank up. sheets of paper. I start... I start taking it for my own use, mostly out of, like, vengefulness. <laughs> Out of spite. Uh, Mama said they were going to open up the other ones. So what's, yeah, uh, Mama Mark opens up the second one. Um, this one has a bunch of uh, not writing utensils, but bags and sacks of... At first, you thought it may have been food goods because you kind of recognize some things like flour and some seeds in there. But then you realize that another bag had just like some kind of animal hair in it and other bags had some kind of like chopped up fatty substance 
Weird. So, I have a question. Yes. How long does it take for ink in an inkwell to go bad? Typically. Um, well, it depends on what the ink's made out of. Yeah, usually you can use the same components that the ink has become to make more ink out of, well, yeah. regardless of the circumstances. But like, he said the ink wells were full, which means they're either full of a substance that can be turned into ink, or they're full, don't, full of don't ink that's ready to Don't ruin my ink by asking all these unnecessary questions, Shreya. <laughs> Well, they're also sealed jars too, so they wouldn't be able to uh, separate and you know, or uh, sorry, evaporate. But they could have separated and probably with a good stir and a little bit of work, come back to full power. Oh, uh, what's in the third one? But they're definitely not. They have not been here for ancient times, um, because you would probably see some damage to it. One second, guys. This dog keeps howling at me. He wants for nothing. His lamentations are pointless. My dog was howling at me too, because he wanted to come inside. The third one you open up, and this one has a dead body in it. But not just one, there are a bunch of them crammed in here. What the hell? And I mean crammed. Their bones snapped, just whatever it took to fit the bodies in there. Bodies or skeletons? Um, not just skeletons, rem mummified remains. So there's still a bit of like skin and hair involved in uh, How are they dressed? these corpses. Um, mostly shredded clothes. It seems like they were probably originally. Um, since you have a, a good amount of knowledge on history, <clears throat> they were probably very well dressed originally. I see. I'll be what making the, careful uh, notes of everything like? I can see. Because um, you're kind of noticing there's still some color and some dyes in the cloth, which was not common many, 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 many years ago. Well, uh, what was that last question? Like body shape, like now. They are humanoid. I tell more than that? Like, you have a snout? Not like, really. Right. Well, the thing is, though, is they're, they're not really together. Like, they are smashed in there, so it's hard to even identify. You can maybe identify things that were part of a skull. Oh, yeah. See if you can um, see if you can identify if there's more than one kind of type in there, even. Yeah. That, that'd be really Because the thing is, even though this is a, is, was probably a coffin for one person, there's probably at least, like, 20 people jammed in here. Like, it is... Full. Would my healing background let me determine stuff about it? Yeah. Okay. Stop yelling at me. So and like, I will. The first thing we need to determine is like, are these all human? Vaguely. Then we kind of need to determine why they would all be shoved in a small area. And possibly how they died, if they all died in, like, a similar way. Like, if the, if they each have a have a hole in the back of the skull, we can kind of figure that out. Yeah. Right? <laughs> sure enough. Yeah, make your roll. All right. Question is, what the fuck am I rolling? Um. Because I don't have a healing skill per se. But I do mortuary. Have... I do have my demon of health um, thing. Concept. Also has yeah. medicine you could roll. Yeah, medicine probably, you know, kind of work in that same area a bit. Um, it's going to be a knowledge check, so probably cunning. Yeah, it'd, it'd be a pure knowledge check, so probably still cunning and power. Except I've been using cunning and focus. So oh, boy. I think in this one, it would, it would be cunning and power, because just purely how much you know. If I'm assisting with the medicine, then it would be cunning assist, right? That is true. And I'm, I'm a bit better at assisting other people. I'm fucking shit at it. <laughs> I am not a team player. <laughs> which, if you, if you assist, then your rolls count together. Hmm. Well, I got a 16 on my roll. I exploded twice on that die. 
Nice. Very nice. Okay. Hmm. That's whole cumin. Um, that whole cumin seed. That's awesome. So add a five to that. Twenty-one. Well, it wouldn't it wouldn't be a static five? It would it would be as if you'd all roll together. Ah, so it'd okay. be uh yeah. Uh, sorry. So that's a sixteen be plus a seven for my actual 17. skill. So eighteen. Yeah. So you wouldn't get. Be, well, it'd be a seventeen altogether. Um, because you have your two exploded, exploding sixes, and the next highest die is one of Murasaki's fives. Ah. So seventeen be, plus my medicine of two. Yeah. For a 19, which is extraordinary. Mm. Yeah. So basically, when you're assisting, treat it as if it was one person rolling all of these die. Which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Would the one go to then if they rolled a one? Uh, whoever rolls ho rolled the one, they get that one. Uh oh. So with a uh, with a 19, you actually figure out quite a bit in here as you guys kind of dig through it um they were um fauna you can see oh. by different skeleton types and what you can make out of, of different types of skulls you're like oh this was a fauna culture um which is shocking because no one knew fauna had cities yeah i'm gonna ask mark about that i'll be like were there fauna settlements in this area at some point or something Because I know Mark knows about history, right? Yeah, I guess I could roll to see if he knows about that. Uh, I, that's almost common knowledge is Fauna did not have cities. So the, the common knowledge answer is no. That's one of the reasons I'm asking you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the, my character is, I should say. I'll I roll begin... to see if Mark knew that there used to be Fauna cities, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> roll. Stop then as far as me. um that's um let's see eight plus five is thirteen plus two that's fifteen. Very nice. Uh Mark's pretty sure that no, there were never fauna cities. Fauna were just wild intelligent species that wandered the the wild until humans came around and enslaved them. Well, I mean the other thing is maybe these people whoever built this had fauna as slaves and then their fauna died and because they didn't care about them because you know people don't treat their slaves kindly they just stuffed them in a grave it kind of makes sense because they just put all their stuff in the boxes and their stuff happened to be slaves so they put the stuff in a box on the one hand yeah on the other hand that's not actually very very efficient oh yeah with their medicine did they find out how they died um, that you can't really tell. There, there, you do know there's nothing like obvious to how they died, but it's really hard since everything is kind of. Uh, one thing you do realize is a lot of the broken bones um, happened a long time after they died. Okay. The the skulls shattering, like those breaks, you can kind of tell. That are, would that would indicate we're they not weren't... fresh bone. That would indicate they weren't put in here alive. Toltecs used to do stuff like that. They used to just be like, yeah, not right. just dead, but dead for a long, long time, like probably centuries, at least. Okay, so when you so you used to probably dead for centuries before they were put in here. Before they were broken up, yes. But That's nicely true. dressed fauna. Hmm. Um. But, like, someone else has probably been here. Maybe there were skeletons lying around and they just decided to clean them up. Yeah, that, that actually makes more sense because, like, if they put in bodies with flesh on them, they wouldn't all be crammed in here. Because the flesh would, would buffer. Right? And then rot, and then disappear. And... The bones wouldn't be crammed in because flesh would have taken up space. Like, comment, subscribe, and share.